Hi, welcome back. Attorney Steve Otter. Welcome to another exciting video. In this video, we are talking about the top 20 copyright infringement defenses that probably won't work. All right, this is general legal information only. This is developed over years of handling photo infringement cases. So I'm gonna give you the top 20 that I've heard. This is gonna be a two-part series. This is part one. So without further ado, let's head to my list here. All right, number one, I just did it by accident. I didn't mean to infringe anybody's rights. There was no intent to harm anybody. Um, copyright law, just so you know, is what we call a strict liability offense. That means it doesn't matter if you intended to infringe somebody's rights or didn't intend to infringe your rights. Now, that may go to the issue of damages, whether it's innocent infringement or willful infringement or whatnot, but it's not a defense to copyright that you didn't intend to do it. So that's strict liability for you bar takers out there. Strict liability, that means liability without fault, if you even if it was an accident. So that's number one on my list. Number two things that I've learned over the years uh, the photo is not creative. It's not original. I mean, it's just like a picture of a, it's a picture of a hammer or it's the Golden Gate Bridge or it's just the mountainside. I mean, I could have took it myself. Um, I wanted to point out that the standard for creativity to get a copyright with the United States Copyright Office is really not that high. The level for creativity is actually the bar is quite low, just some very minimal level of creativity. So the fact that it may be something you've seen many times or could have shot yourself, you know, you probably should have just shot it yourself and used, used your own photo. So the photo is not very creative or original. That's not a very original defense. Let's put it that way. Um, three. I immediately took down the picture after I found out that I got the letter and I knew that I was infringing somebody. I immediately took it down and so therefore I should not be liable. Well, you know, taking it down is good. You may help mitigate the damages or whatnot, but, uh, but taking down a photo by itself is not a defense. It's not a defense. It may save you some money for not trying to uh, and continuing to infringe for the next, you know, two, three, four months while you while you dispute it, but uh, taking down is not a defense. So that's number three. Number four, I resized the photo. I made it into a thumbnail, or I put some shade on it, or I cropped it just a little bit. Now, usually, that's not going to work as a defense. Um, now, if you're a search engine like Google or somebody, and there is a case on that, and I believe I did a blog on it, and you cropped it down for search engine optimization so people could find it easily and you could show a lot of results, like the Google images, you see all the little cropping. Uh, that's not infringement because in that case, there's a functional social utility, and the courts have decided that that's not uh, an inf infringement. So um, re just resizing or recropping or reshaping, unless you're completely transforming the photo, that might be a defense. Complete transformation may be part of a fair use defense. I've got many videos on fair use if you want to check that out, but just merely resizing and posting it on your website, probably not going to work for you. Number five. Um, this one pops up with Creative Commons. Um, I gave a link. I gave a link to the artist. I put, I gave attribution. I said they're the best artist in the world. I gave their website information. Um, all I did as much as you possibly, I said how great the photo is. That is not a defense to infringement. While it's nice, and while it may help lend itself to a fair use defense, in and of itself, that's not gonna be sufficient for you, okay? So that is five. Number six. Oh, I love this one. The website where I posted literally gets no traffic. It gets no traffic. I can show you the Google Analytics. There's nothing. I've got like, like 45 visitors and hardly any hits and I didn't make any money. No traffic, no money. Come on. That's not infringement. Yes, it's still infringement. It may go to the issue of damages, but it's not a defense to copyright infringement to say that you didn't make any money. And your Google Analytics page, that's nice, but again, that's not gonna just save the day for you, okay? That is number five. Number six, um, oh, that was six. Seven, I didn't do it. 
must have been one of my agents, one of my employees, I don't know, like I can't monitor everything, it's just, this is too crazy. Or it was my, it's one of my real estate agents uh, putting it on their personal website or their agent website, which benefits me, but uh, you know, I can't see everything, I got 100 agents. Not a defense, not going to work as a defense, okay? Um, so that is number seven. Number eight, uh, and this kind of ties in with the previous one, is I could have just took the photo myself. I could have just took it myself. Yes, you could have and you should have. And, you know, we kind of touched on that already. Number nine, I didn't make a single penny. Uh, and again, that's often raised by a person that's that's uh, had their website, had the picture on their website for years but they'll say, well, I didn't make a single penny. Nobody looked at it. So those are kind of, uh, you get the theme here. Those are very similar. And uh, finally, number 10, make sure you stay tuned for the next 10. Make sure to subscribe so you get the next 10. You got to know them all. You got to, they're not all. This is not an exclusive list, but you want to know most of them here, okay? Uh, I posted a disclaimer. I said that this is not uh, not intended to infringe anybody. This is considered to be a fair use. That in and of itself, a disclaimer saying I'm not here to infringe anybody, that's not going to work, okay? That's not recognized as a valid defense. So if you have more questions, copyright claims, you know where to find me on the web. Let's see if we can find it here. Let's see if we can find it at attorneysteve.com. Here's all ki kinds of content that can be infringed. And, uh, you know, we've been doing copyright law for many years, one of the tops in the country. So give us a call if you need some help. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for part two.